In this video, you will learn the steps for creating a survey in StatCrunch. While a StatCrunch account is needed to create the survey, a survey can be answered by anyone on any device with internet access with or without a StatCrunch subscription. Now, to create a survey, go to StatCrunch.com and sign in with your StatCrunch credentials. Then, in the top menu under My StatCrunch, choose Surveys. This takes you to your My Surveys page that lists all the surveys you have created under your account. I'm now going to click the link to create a new survey. For this example, the name of my survey is going to be StatCrunch Demo Survey. Right now, I'm going to leave my status closed to responses. Under the submission box, you have two options. Allow multiple submissions from the same respondent and display summary results after submissions. I am going to leave the allow multiple submissions box unchecked so that respondents can only respond once per device. I'm going to check display summary results after submissions to allow each respondent to view a summary of the current results after their submission. You want to provide additional information to your respondents, so in the description box, type a short description about your survey. I'll scroll down. You can add a thank you message if you'd like. And you can also upload an optional thumbnail. This thumbnail will be associated with your survey. You can select a file from your computer or search for an image using Flickr. For this example, I'll search the word college student and choose a thumbnail. I'll now click Submit to create our survey with a blank slate for adding survey questions. The newly created survey shown has options for adding questions within the owner's box. There are four different options, multiple choice questions, fill in the blank, free response, and multi-part. Let's begin by adding a multiple choice question. To do so, I'm going to click on the multiple choice link. In the question text box, I'm going to enter the question how I'd like it to appear on the survey. The objective of my demo survey is to collect information from a class of students. So my question is going to be, how do you commute to school? In the options box, I'm going to enter items that will appear as answer choices for this question. Each item needs to appear on a separate line. I am also going to add add other category with input field. This will now accept a fill in the blank response. If you click on the Choose from Other Common Options, you will see a number of possibilities that are available, including a range of integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 50 U.S. states, and a listing of all countries. Since neither of these options make sense for my survey, I'll go on ahead and move on. In the Column Label box, I'm going to enter the word Commute. To have the responses for this question appear in that column name when pulled into StatCrunch for analysis. Right now, this question will appear as position one on the survey, and then I'll click Submit Question to add this question to my survey. 
Notice two links have now appeared next to the first question on the survey. The edit link can be used to change the content of the question and the delete link can be used to remove the question from the survey. Now let's add a fill in the blank question. So I'm going to click on the fill in the blank link. And my question this time is going to be, what is your age? I want to limit my responses to only numbers. So I'm going to check only accept numeric input. The numeric responses can be further restricted by setting an optional lower and upper limits controlling the range of acceptable values. I'm going to enter 10 for my lower limit and 100 for my upper limit. For the column label, I'm going to type age to have the responses of this question appear in a column name labeled age when I pull it into StatCrunch for analysis later. Notice this question will appear on position two on the survey. And now I'll click Submit Question. Now let's add a free response question to our survey. These questions require longer responses. So I'm going ahead and click on the free response link. And this time my question is going to be, why did you choose to take this class? This will give the respondent a text field with a large response area where a response can be entered that is not limited in length. In the column label box, I'm going to type reason so that the responses to this question will appear in the column named reason when I pull it into StatCrunch later for analysis. As you can see, this question will appear on position three on the survey. I'm going to click, click Submit this question to add this question to the survey. In certain cases, several questions need to be linked together in a common framework. This can be accomplished by using the multi-part question type. I'm going to scroll up and click on the link that says multi-part. For this question, I'm going to enter each of the four exams in this course is worth 25% of your final grade. To get a B in this course, your final average should be between 80 and 90. Suppose you score 84, 72, and 82 on the first three exams. So I'm going to go on ahead and submit this question. And then I'm going to scroll down and add a multiple choice part to it and then a fill in the blank part to it. So I'm going to click multiple choice and now I can add a multiple choice question just like I did previously. So here I'll enter, do you currently have a B in the course? And my two options will be yes and no. And now this will be part A of question four. If you scroll down, now you will see that this is a multi-part question. I can also add a fill in the blank. And I'll ask, what grade do you need to get on the final exam to get a B in this course? and I'll accept numeric answers. And as you can see, this will be part B of the multi-part question. That's it, you've now learned to create each different type of survey question. To learn how to open your survey for responses, collect responses, and analyze those responses, refer to the video Administering Surveys and Analyzing the Data.